Okay, finding the exact trig values of a point on the unit circle. So we're asked to find cosine of 7 pi. Well, of course, 7 pi is not really on the unit circle. It's wound out too far, isn't it? So the way I look at this is this. I know that every time that, here's, if this is the unit circle, every time, no matter where I start, every time that I go in this direction, one full rotation, that's 2 pi. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off intervals of 2 pi until I get it back inside the unit circle. So I'm going to take cosine 7 pi. I'm going to take my 7 pi aside here, and I'm going to take away 2 pi. Well, that only gets me to 5 pi. So I take away another 2 pi. That's another complete revolution that I'm going. That gets me to 3 pi. That still doesn't get me to take away another 2 pi. Another one time around the circle gets me to pi. Well, where is pi? Pi is here on the unit circle, and it has a cosine value of negative 1. Right? So here we are on the unit circle, pi, otherwise known as 180 degrees. And what do I know about this angle? It's coterminal to my 7 pi. So the, trig uh, the, six, sig the, <laughs> the six trigonometric functions will have the same values there. All right? Okay. Let's do, see if we can't do one more. So my answer here is that cosine of 7 pi is equal to negative 1. And this is my supporting math right here. All right. I'm going to do something relatively similar here, except for this time, the angular value is just a negative angular value, and we just have to look at it that way. So we're asked to find, what are we asked to find here? Oh, we're asked to find, don't leave me. Well, here, let's use this one. We're asked to find cosine of negative 3 pi halves. Remember, when we take negative angles, positive angles open this way. For positive angles, negative angles open this way. So we want 3 pi halves. Well, we know that every time we go one quarter of the way around the circle, we're going we're gonna to go 1 half pi. We want 3 halves. So that's going to end up looking like this for us. As we go around the circle, we're going to start here, 0, go around here. This is, ne this is negative pi halves. Go some more. This is negative pi. Negative pi and pi are coterminal. And 3 quarters of the way around the circle is negative 3 pi halves, which happens to be coterminal with pi halves. So let's go back to the inner circle and see what we have. And it's up here, isn't it? And it should be equal to, cosine is 0, isn't it? So cosine of that value is 0, equals 0. And that's how we do this work. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Your comments are always welcome. Thanks.